Hello to all my beautiful viewers out there. As I said in the previous video, today's video is going to be about another Yeezy release. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the upcoming release of the Adidas Yeezy 350v2. I know, a 350v2, but we are discussing the Ye Chill or Ye Chill colorway. Yeah, I'm still very confused on how to actually properly pronounce this colorway. A lot of people are pronouncing it Ye Chill, like really separating and putting emphasis on the part thing that it is, the Ye Chill colorway. But then why put emphasis on it? You could probably just say the Ye Chill colorway. Like you don't have to go Ye Chill. I don't honestly don't know. Either way, we all know what Yeezy we're talking about, right? It's the Ye Chill colorway. Uh, this colorway is following the same prime knit detailing as the previous 350 release which was the Yeez Real colorway. Uh, you know how I feel about the Yeez Real colorway. I co covered it in a previous video. Um, the overall design of the upper was really good. It was just the use of color that I wasn't a fan of because that semi-frozen color is bleh, It is so gross. It is not good. But this upcoming release has actually got me very surprised and actually kind of keen for it. It is a very nice colorway. Um, so to dive into all the details that we have to do with that upcoming release, I've got, as always, a hype beast article that'll cover all the details that we can read together, and then I'll discuss my thoughts and opinions on the actual colorway as well. So, without further ado, let's dive into the hype beast article and see what they have to say about the upcoming release of the Yeezy 350 V2 Ye Chill colorway. And here it is. We have now come on to the hype beast article, so let's have a read. Let's see what's going on. So. Adidas officially unveils Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Yashiel colorway and release date. Arriving in full family sizing on December 20th. So pretty soon actually, only four days away. So at the end of this week, we are getting this coming out in full family sizing in the men's, kids and infant sizing. I, as I've mentioned, well I actually haven't mentioned it too much before, but it's interesting to see that Yeezy does full family sizing as kids, infants, uh, sorry, <laughs> men's, kids, infants, while Jordan brand does like men's grade school. I, I can't even remember them. There's like five of them. I remember I struggled to remember them when I covered the Jordan 11 bread release. That thing was just like five different sizings. And I was like, infants, babies, kids, grade schools, uh, men's. It was just super, super weird. Jordan brand, whenever they do full family sizing, it's like, you could wear this shoe from the day you're born to the day you die. It, that, that's the kind of the situation. You could probably buy enough sizes from a full family sizing Jordan release. For that to be the case, you could wear it for the rest of your life. That's that's a crazy thought. While Yeezy's kind of just like, let's just cover the basics, which is just men's, kids, and infants. It's really interesting to see how these two brands cover full family sizing very differently. Uh, let's dive into the article though and see what it has to say about this upcoming release of the Ye Chill colorway. So, long tease and fervently speculated Kanye West and Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Ye Chill has finally received an official release date. With its cacophony of colors, the Ye Chill is a stark departure from the Adidas Yeezy line's signature Earth Tones palettes. I, uh, it, it specifically says that the Ye Chill is a departure from the Yeezy line's uh, signature earth tones in this article, but I would argue that it's not specifically this colorway. The 350 V2 has always been like that. They've always deviated from what um, makes Yeezy Yeezy. It's a very different Yeezy to all the other Yeezys that release, like the Yeezy 500, 700s. They always play into earthier tones, into that kind of aesthetic and tone. While the 350 V2 never did, well, I say never, but there are a couple colorways that do. But like, it was the 350 V2 was never known for covering or having signature earth tones. It was always known for being loud and different. It was not like the 500 and 700. So I think it's a bit weird that they've specifically said the Ye Chill colorway departs from its earthy tones and stuff. It's like, yeah, duh. Like, of course. But. It, it, the other colorways never did either. So I, I think they should have said 350v2 does that, but whatever. Either way. Uh, pro offering a much more splashy take on the ever popular silhouette that than fans of the lines are used to seeing. I honestly agree. It does take a more splashier take, but it's good. 
It's a direction that Yeezy and 350 V2s more specifically need to head in. They need to go a little bit more crazier instead of just releasing every single color under the color palette and then just being like, man, we did it. That's another Yeezy release. I like that they've gone a little bit bolder, a little bit more crazier in this release. It's nicer. So let's keep going. Knit uppers use a stark black for the base color, but quickly accent it with a quartet of vivid hues. The top half uses blood red and baby blues for accents, while the bottom half opts for soft yellow and pink shades. These two pieces are separated by a black post-dyed monofilament side strip. This recognizable embellishment serves as a buffer of sorts in the wild styles just enough. Reflect, reflective laces tie the uppers together both literally and figuratively, offering a high-vis popper flare down, uh, down below a bulbous black midsole stuffed full of white boost cushioning completes the look. The Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Ye Chill will release via adidas.com in North America and Europe on December 20th. Also Yeezy Supply, they don't mention Yeezy Supply, but Yeezy Supply will drop them as well. Full family sizes will be available with men's pairs retailing at 220 USD, kids at 160, and infants at 140. It's very interesting to see that there's not a huge price difference between kids and infant sizing, but the actual overall use of materials would, is very significant. You go with the smallest kid size and the biggest, uh, sorry, smallest infant size, biggest kid size, and there's a big difference there, yet they only charge 20 US dollars different for that for that size so there are also reports of a fully reflective iteration releasing on december 19th now i will cover that if it gets uh like an official release uh date or it gets a listing on any official websites like you know easy supply uh, adidas.com slash easy or any uh retailers if it gets an official listing i will definitely cover it but i've yet to see that these are just speculations so far that we're getting a release on december 19th um i haven't seen it I have not seen any listings on any official platforms yet. If there are, definitely cover it on the channel for you guys. But I have not seen them, so I'm just going to cover the non-reflective pairs. Uh, you may notice that it's a reflective laces, but the non-reflective pairs get reflective laces. But the reflective pairs get a reflective upper, so all this mesh is reflective. And the laces are reflective. There's a big, big difference between reflective Yeezys and non-reflective Yeezys. But non-reflective Yeezys still get reflective laces. Which technically doesn't make them non-reflective. But compared to a reflective pair, they definitely are non-reflective. Just Google reflective versus non-reflective 350v2s. Boy, you, you're you not ready. If you haven't seen it before, you are not ready. They are reflective. Now... Let's dive into the actual colorway. So let's open up this image. So as it discussed, there is a use of, I, it was hard for me to tell, but I'm glad that they confirmed it. It has a lot of use of pink in between the black knit there. A very nice use of color with a splash of yellow on the toe box and the heel. Then the stripe separates it. And then a use of red and blue is on the top with a use of blue and black on the back. Now, some people have been actually asking for like an icy blue uh, 350v2 as they kind of use this blue and have used this blue a lot on the 700s, but some people are asking for it on the uh, 350v2s. De that could be done well, but it all depends on how Yeezy would handle that release. I personally think a uh, Yeezy 350v2 release using this prime knit style with like a white and this like l icy baby blue it could look really nice. I'm telling you, Adidas hire me on the uh, on the Easy Design team because I'm telling you, it could be promising. We could get some nice colors going. Uh, all in all, though, I'm really, really happy to see Yeezy take this deviation from their stereotypical prime knit upper style to this, where they've done like weird color blocking sections and stuff. I think it complements the um, overall silhouette of the 350v2 and being smart about it using a solid black line in the center, a black midsole really allows the shoe to pop and allows it to contrast really well by having these little segments of color and then just solid black lines. It looks really, really nice and it works across all sizing. It doesn't just look really nice on the men's, it looks nice on the kids and the infants. Uh, moving on. On the flip side, it's the exact same. We got the pink and the black here, 
yellow and uh, black on the toe box and heel and the use of red and blue on the upper here and blue and black on the back there there we go so we also get the shot from here as well oh there we go so on the inner side of it we've primarily got black uh, black and pink but on the outside side we have the blue and red so i thought the blue and red extended on the upper on the inside as well but it does not so I like it. It's a good use of color and I like it. The black stitching down the center kind of shows as like a split and even the pink and black stitching continues down to the toe box on the right hand side um, where I thought the yellow and black would continue down here. All in all though, it's an awesome use of color. I absolutely love that the um, colors are separated by black knit and it's not just like some weird yellow block here, pink block here red and blue block here it all is separated by this nice knit it just looks really really nice it is a good 350 v2 release i was getting very very sick and tired of 350 v2 releases you can watch any of my other yeezy videos and i will literally say uh oh, not another 350 v2 release because it's just overdone it's just like ugh. and it wasn't necessarily well it kind of is that we've seen a lot of 350 v2 releases and they kind of need to calm that down but it was that we've seen the same type of colorway scheme just being like released every single month in a slightly different color and they just they didn't deviate enough from each other to the point where you'd be like oh that's cool that's very different this however is that it is very different it's exactly what we want to see from yeezy 350 v2 releases something different um, I just got to give props to Adidas and Yeezy for finally releasing something that is different. Um, obviously, this isn't the first pair to do it. Um, this whole color scheme, this whole idea has been done on the Yeezy Real colorway, but it wasn't that well executed because of the choice of using semi-frozen. I talked about it in the previous video on the Yeezy Real colorway. The use of that like semi-frozen color was just not a good choice. I, it just doesn't... It did look a lot nicer than the semi-frozen v2s from before but it just it, it just didn't hit it's just people weren't keen on it and you can see that you can go to Foot Locker right now and see that it's not so sold out people just aren't feeling that like vault color and i think this will definitely be a different this will sell out this will do really really well when it releases on december 20. Um, I honestly really like this colorway. It's probably one of my favorite colorways out of all the 350 V2 colorways, which honestly I wouldn't even know what my top five are because there's just so many. If I had to look up all the 350 V2 colorways on like GOAT to like pick my top five, I would have to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. There'd be so many by now. It's been out for so many years, but this is definitely easily in my top five. This is a really, really nice colorway. I'm glad that Adidas and Yeezy have changed it up and have changed it up in a good way. And I honestly think that they shouldn't have released the Yeezy Real colorway and just stuck with this one uh, instead of doing that. Because this would have been a good introduction into what we, I assume, what we're going to get in 2020. Because I assume 2020 is going to be a lot of these um, styled V2 350 um, releases. So we're going to get a lot of colorways that have this kind of color blocking. I'm just afraid that Adidas and Yeezy are now, now that they're going to see the success of this colorway, they're just going to slam us in 2020 with like 50 of these colorways. Do you know what I mean? Like they're going to see the success of the uh, Year Chill colorway and they're going to be like, haha, okay, let's release 50 of them in 2020. And then that's, that's going to ruin that. It's going to ruin the, um, this step in this correct direction by oversaturation they're just going to pump it out but maybe they won't maybe they'll um not actually do that in 2020 we'll have to see 2020 new year of a new decade so we'll have to see we'll have to see what um yeezy does but honestly good on yeezy for releasing this i am a fan i do really really like this release but let me know how you feel about it guys let me know how you feel about the your chill colorway in the comment section below is it a cop for you is it a drop for you what do you think of this deviation from the typical, I would say, zebra pattern that we've seen before on Yeezy 350 re releases? Are you a fan? Are you not a fan? You're going to pick it up come December 20th? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions in that comment section below.
And that's it. That is all the release details we have to do with the upcoming release of the Adidas Yeezy 350E Chill. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. Uh, I do also, just in case you forget, it is releasing on Yeezy Supply. There are raffles on like SVD. I think, I assume End and SNS are going to be doing them. I would definitely check them out just in case. So you guys, if you don't get the live cop, you have the raffles as a backup. It's always good to have backups if you are really looking to pick up this pair. It is a very nice colorway of the 350 V2. I'm glad that they did it. I'm honestly looking forward to 2020 and seeing how they handle the 350 V2s. In all honesty, I kind of hope that they calm it down with the 350 V2s and start releasing more earth tone, like, I don't know, boots, like the 1050s. Um, maybe some 750s we wouldn't say no to that honestly i'm yeah i would like them to tone it like calm it down with the 350 v2s and focus more on sneakers and shoes that are more true to the yeezy clothing line in both colorway and style that's how i feel but conversation for a different video uh let me know how you guys feel about the chill colorway in the comment section below as i said uh if you could like the video Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. I basically do sneaker and streetwear videos almost, I'm going to say almost every 12 hours at this point. I was going to say almost every day, but I do way too many videos. Oh, well, not way too many videos. I just love talking about sneakers and streetwear, guys. It's, it's, that's why I'm here. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you would be, ever be so kind, I have my socials in the description section. So if you want to vote in all the polls that we do on Instagram, if you want to... Check out the Facebook page to stay up to date with all the videos we got posting. All the links will be in the description section below. But that is all the release details that we have to do with the Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 Ye Chill colorway. Coming out December 20th, full family sizing, 220 USD for men's, 160 for kids, and 140 for infants. So until the next streetwear video, guys, until the next sneaker video, I'll catch you later.